Hello, and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to create multiple RuneLite sessions slash instances for the purpose of separating your RuneLite presets or logging into multiple accounts without having the login information change. There's also a variety of other benefits that we will go into later on in this tutorial. First off, it is very important that you ensure your current RuneLite settings are backed up via your Gmail or email related to the account. Sign in and sync if you are not. Once you have done that, safely sign out and close your RuneLite windows. Go to your desktop, find the RuneLite icon, right click and hit copy. Then hit paste and create a copy of the icon. You will then need to rename the copy and original RuneLite to be associated with the accounts or the titles that you wish to create. On the screen now, you can see an example of username1, username2, and username 1a, which will be a variant RuneLite for the same username which we will cover later on in this video. Now, you will right-click the icon on your desktop, go down to Properties, and then this dialog will open. Look for the section that says Target, that is highlighted on the screen now. In the Target area, you will see what is shown below in red, since this is your first time doing it. Then, what we are going to do is add what is shown in yellow. You don't need to understand the specifics of this coding. All you need to know is that you've copied it correctly. I will include it in the link below. Ensure that there is a space as shown on the screen. For subsequent sessions and instances, all you will need to do is right click the properties of the next icon for the different account and just change the session to number two. You can continue this for as many sessions or instances as you would like. Once you have created the icons and changed the target coding for the required numbers of sessions you desire, sign into each one with the username associated. Then sign into the email account associated with each account to save the settings and to create separate loot trackers. Please note that for all the sessions created that aren't logged in with the original email that was synced, you will have to recalibrate all of your RuneLite settings. However, if you use the email that was created for those separate accounts, keep that signed into RuneLite, it will save the settings to those emails. There's a variety of benefits for setting up your rune lights in separate sessions. First, for lock client sizes and various presets for multi-logs. Lock client size for the same account for different purposes, such as PvP or PVM. Using two emails and separate rune light presets for the same account. Separate loot trackers when using different emails. Separate client sessions, allowing for Discord notification and clan channels to be specific to accounts so they don't interfere. For streamers, you can lock your window capture to the specific title of the session. Therefore, every time you open up that instance of RuneLite, it'll always be the same in your streaming software. For YouTube, you can have a RuneLite set up specifically for video capture and recording. And for certain individuals, you can have a separate client for GPU or for 117 scape, depending on your content in the game. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can reach me at the socials below on either Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with any individuals you think that might benefit from it. Thank you.